It's amazing how small this day just became. And it's also amazing how important people are. Kelly was a friend to everybody. I don't think there's anybody that didn't like Kelly. If they didn't, it was their problem, not hers. She was a lovely person. She made you smile. You know, she'd whip your rear in the show pen, but she made you smile. And she would tell every one of you here to keep going, to keep charging, to show your horses, to do what you came here to do. But there's some things that I want to share tonight as we go on because everybody's hurting. First of all is none of this makes sense. There's going to be a million times the question why is going to be asked and that question cannot be answered because we don't know why. But I do know that God is sovereign. I know that God is good, whether it feels like it or not. And I know that God is close. The 34th Psalm in the 18th verse said, God draws near to the brokenhearted. And my prayer tonight is that you realize that God loves you. God loved Kelly, and he's not left any of us alone. He's close to us. He cares for us. And this is a time as family, and this is family. We've got to come together and love each other. You know, right now, any differences need to be laid down, and we need to love each other. We need to care for each other. We need to pick each other up. Because Kelly's life meant something different to everybody here. She had a different relationship with everybody here. But everybody's here because they cared about her and they care about Sam. You know, Sam's one of the strongest people I guess I've ever met. I walked up to him today and the first thing he did was grab me and hug me. And I almost got shocked because Sam didn't show emotion. Sam needs us. He needs us to love him. He needs us to be there. He needs us to pick him up. And there are a lot of folks here that are going to just need encouraging and loving because it's not over. You know, the wonderful thing about God, and I'm going to go ahead and say this. I, whether you agree with what I say right now, I do not care. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Kelly knew Jesus as her Lord and Savior. We've had that conversation. There's others here that have had that conversation. I have no doubts where her eternity was. You need to make sure you know. But tonight we're going to pray. We're going to pray as a family. We're going to pray as a group of folks who love somebody. We're going to pray as a group of folks that love each other. And then we're going to leave here and we're going to keep loving each other. And we're going to keep encouraging each other. You know, the Bible tells us faith, hope, and love are the most important. The greatest of these is love. And this is the time to love. It's the time to hurt, but it's the time to love. It's a time to care. It's a time to lift up. So if you will, let's go. Heavenly Father, there is no way we can understand what's happened today. There is no way we can comprehend all the pain, the confusion, and the hurt. But Father, I pray and I ask right now in your precious name that you just give strength and courage. Lord, lift Sam up. Lift Lift each one that was so close to Kelly up. Friends that were closer to her than family, Father. Just hold them. Give them courage. Give them strength. And Lord, let all of us come together in love and encourage each other and hold each other. Lord, just let us be there for each other. But Father, I ask right now that your presence and your spirit fill this place, that we realize we are in your presence, whether we understand what happened or not, whether we comprehend anything or not. Let us understand you do love us regardless. And I just ask God right now that we walk in your love, that we share it with others. And Lord, this family just wrap their arms around each other and encourage each other in a mighty way. Lord, let us realize how real you are and how close you are. And I pray, God, right now for your strength and your courage to just help each one of us as we go forward. Lord, lift Sam, hold him. Father, let him feel the prayers and the love that's being sent towards him that so many that care. 
And Father, let us lean on you as you give us strength. I ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. As we leave, take time to just love, with each, love on each other a little bit. Let everybody know you really care. Because folks need to know. Anybody here, if you need somebody to talk to, if you need somebody to pray with you, my booth is right across where it always is. Come see me. Come see me. My phone number is on the booth. Call me. I'll meet you anytime to pray with you and help you. But let's love on each other and let's care for each other. Because when it's all said and done, what's important is family and love. Let's take care of each other. I love y'all. God bless you. Thank you for being here.